In this lesson, we're going to be learning about isotropic and anisotropic behavior of material properties. So basically, the word isotropic uh, means the material property is the same in all directions. So let's take an example and draw a material and we apply a force or we apply stress and uh, this stress is going to cause a certain strain and this material again uh, we know how it's related by the Young's modulus or now that we are more piezo friendly uh, we're going to be calling it the elastic modulus okay so this seals this uh, strain let's say you call it x1 also, if we take the other case, and we draw the material, and we, again, we add a stress. We put a, we put a certain stress on the material, uh, we get the same kind of strain. So we call this, let's call it X2. And for an anisotropic material, no matter which way you pull it, you know, if you, let's assume it's a block for a better, uh, so the length, Let's say the width is equal to the height of this block. If you're pulling it these two different ways, uh, with the same force or the same stress, if the uh, you know if the size was different, you'd get the same exact strain. And when this happens, this means the Young's modulus is the same in each direction. So uh, now, the, now let's discuss material properties with regards to different directions. So pulling in this way or pulling in this way will yield the same exact strain for that pulling direction. But this is not true for all materials. So you can think about a homogeneous material uh, like something like plastic or that you poured in or um, something like a metal which is which was cast. Uh, this would be an, an example of an isotropic material. So no matter which way you pulled it, you would get the same uh, displacement or strain. But anisotropic material, uh, which are quite plentiful, um, they have different properties in different directions. So let's take, for example, a carbon-reinforced fishing rod. Carbon fiber-reinforced fishing rod. So basically what it looks like is this, drawing a little bit thicker than it might be, and it has little rods going, carbon fiber rods. And these carbon fiber rods, they're held together uh, by some plastic or epoxy or, uh, or something, which is a very a weak material, a very soft material in comparison to the carbon fiber. So the carbon fiber Young's modulus, I'll call it C, is very high. But let's call it the binder. The thing which holds all the carbon fibers together, which actually makes like one entity, or the carbon fibers all obviously just drop apart, we'll call it the binder, YB. And it's very low. It's very it's very weak. And again, uh, using compliance as a low compliance, and this would be having a, a high compliance. So basically, by adding this carbon fiber, we change the material properties when we add these two materials together. So we can imagine when we are pulling on this material in this direction, what is the material which is taking most of the weight, taking most of the strain, or the uh, stress? It's the actually the carbon fiber. So basically we, we essentially stiffen the material in this way. So the material, let's call it in the x direction, we call it y sub y, or sorry, y sub x in the uh, horizontal direction, the lengthwise direction this is going to be a high number. But if you're pulling this way, you know, they say the chain is only as strong as the weakest link. So if you zoom in, you know, on some, some portion of this right here, we take this, basically what it's going to look like is we're, we're going to be, there's going to be a layer of carbon fiber and there's going to be a layer of binder. There's going to be a layer of carbon fiber and there's going to be a layer of, you know, binder, and and this will continue on to the, to the top. So basically, when you're pulling on this, 
the weight, you know, as they say, the chain is only as strong as the weakest link, and the weakest link in this point is the epoxy or is the binder. So therefore, we will get a um, Young's modulus, and the y direction is being lower. In this case, if we're pulling in you know this direction again in the x direction, if we're pulling in the x direction, then we will, then most of the weight will be carried by the uh, the carbon fiber strong rod. So therefore, uh, we had different properties when we are pulling in different directions, and this is uh, going to be evident in piezoelectric materials where we're going to have a certain direction uh, where we are uh, orienting the material. So this is an example of an oriented material with anisotropic properties with regards to the Young's modulus because clearly the, the structure of the material is different in the x direction and it's different in the y direction. Okay, thank you for watching.